everybody, Deborah Felsky here, uh, independent beauty guy with Limelight by Alco. And, you know, normally I'm more post in the daytime, but I thought, what the heck, let's do our evening ritual. Man, the glare. Oh, now you're, everybody's blurry. <laughs> but it's okay. So, I have noticed from my years as an esthetician that a lot of women don't like to do makeup. Because at the end of the day, they're like, man, I am too tired to take it off. So let's talk about evening rituals. You know, my daughter has an app on her iPhone. It's part of the clock thing. And it will, if you set it up, when you set it up, it'll give you a little ding, ding. Oh, it's that song. Oh, it's a song like. That, yeah, go. she's telling me, go to sleep, go to sleep. And it does this little thing that says, hey, in whatever time you've decided, like an hour or 30 minutes, you're supposed to be getting ready for bed. So how about you do that right now? And normally that means taking off whatever you put on your face. But I got to tell you that even if you didn't put anything on your face, you need to clean it because... There's dust and dirt and smog and all that out there. So, if you're one of those that are like, I just don't want to have to clean my face at night. I get it. I get it. We have these things called make-off removers. Yeah, they come in a pop-up. Or, if you're traveling, they come in singles. You can take these to the gym with you and still take off your makeup. So... There's no excuse for not taking off your makeup. So let's take off our makeup and talk about what your evening routine is. And for those of you commenting, <laughs> I have to put my glasses back on. Hey, Lana! <laughs> I wish you were here. I wish I was there. I wish we were together. Miss you. So these makeup cloths are really cool because they're stronger than the average bear. And they can take off a lot of stuff. And they'll take off everything because, trust me, this morning, I did the full face. I did the mascara. I did the liner. I did the foundation. I did the concealer. I did everything. And these will take it all off. But I'm wondering, as you're winding down for the evening, do you have any goals that you're working on? Do you think about those? before you go to bed to think, oh, what do I need to do tomorrow to me, move me closer to my goal? Because a lot of people, we just get caught up in everything else that's going on. I mean, I went to work today. Yeah, it's not what I want to be doing the rest of my life. I would like to be, <laughs> heck, at my age, I'd like to be retired. Ah, feels good to have all the makeup off. Anyways, I went to work today. My goal is a house in the country on about an acre. Well, I'd do more than that if I could. But I really like the idea of a house, oh, excuse me, historic home. For those of you who really know me, you know I like my historic houses. Give me something 100 years old and I'm happy, even if it's not livable. I want a historic home in a good neighborhood on about an acre so I can grow a garden. And I think about that. Yeah, that took up all that makeup. You want to see that? You really want to see that? Ooh, look at that. Ugh. Anyways, I use that out of the pop-ups, but whenever I'm traveling, I take this one. That's wrapped separately. I already showed that to you, so you don't need to see it again. Anyway, so evening rituals. If you're in relationships that you're working on, that maybe aren't working right, do you ever stop at the end of the day and say, okay, what did I do right in this relationship today? What could I have done better? Now, the same thing works for any of your goals that you have. What did I do right today? Did I move towards my goal? Or did it totally ignore my goal, which is moving away from your goal? <laughs> 